Hey everyone, in the latest edition of A Completist Guide, I'm taking a look at the discography of Sharon Van Etten now that she has this most excellent new album out. Stick around and we'll dive in. Greetings and welcome to the next episode of The Completist Guide, a series of videos I'm doing highlighting aspects of my records, CDs, and even tapes that form a complete discography, a near-complete discography, or a unique series within my collection. Today we're looking at the work of Sharon Van Etten. As I've mentioned, we are all collectors to some degree, so my hope is that this can help educate you as you build your library. Additionally, if you spot a missing piece within my collection, such as a missing album or single, rarity or other unique pressing, you can educate me through the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a future episode and like and comment on this video. All right. So as I mentioned in the opening, the newest album, Sharon Van Etten, we've been going about this all wrong. So Sharon is one of my favorite artists of the last decade. Um, so this was obviously a no-brainer for me. Sorry, I bumped to that. Really nice uh, gatefold. And then this is on a pretty cool disc. So this is, this is a really nice album. Uh, I wasn't sure at first which side was side one, which side was side two, and then if you look at it, there's one flower in the middle, and that one has two. So there's your side A and side B. So I thought with this coming out, it would be kind of fun to take a look at her whole discography. So let's let us do that now. All right. So first up uh, was her debut album, Because I Was in Love. So now, th this is technically her first release, although if if you're a longtime fan or you've gone digging deep, you've probably seen that she has a few others listed on Discogs. Many artists, when they are um, going through and, and you know, touring and, and kind of trying to make a name for themselves, they're, they're doing self, self-release things, CDs and uh and whatnot so i know she put out a handful of releases before this but they are they are just super limited uh they're just cds with um i i think in some cases like hand painted or hand designed covers for for me while they're certainly part of her catalog they're basically unobtainable. I, I've looked on Discogs and eBay and I just never see them. Or if something does pop up, you know, it's like $400 or $2,000 or something ridiculous. You, you just can't afford it. Th those were released before she got onto a label. So it, this is the original artwork on this CD. I, I believe there is an LP version with this artwork as well. But I just have the compact disc of that. However, it was released a few years back as a uh, Vinyl Me Please release. And they renamed it for, it was kind of like a, an anniversary edition of sorts. And they renamed it It Was because I was in love. Uh, cool release. Um, Came in a nice gatefold. Kind of a cool pressing. And um, kind of a funky thing too is they included a seven inch single and this 7-inch single was um, originally released separately, but they packaged it and uh, kind of glued the blank cover onto the inside. I'm not going to take that out, but yeah. And uh, Vinyl Me Please exclusive pressing, and I have copy number 199. All right, up next is um, Epic. 
This uh, this might be one of my favorite albums that she did. Um, really nice. I I originally got it on CD, um, but then I eventually was able to get a vinyl copy. I don't think there's anything unique about this. No, that's just on on the black on the black wax. Some of my favorite songs on here are Crime and Peace Signs. Um, and then the, the last song on that, Love More, um, just a beautiful song. I believe uh, it's been covered by Bon Iver in concert. So pretty cool release. All right, so the album that got me into Sharon Van Etten was this Tramp. Uh, it's one of those where I was in a bar and the song came on. Uh, so I shazammed it and it was Serpents, which is the, uh, the third song there. And it's just a really haunting, haunting song. Nice gatefold. Uh, You'll notice that familiar face in the gatefold. That's because that is Aaron Desner from The National. He produced the album. Bryce Desner appears on it also as a performer, also from The National. But just a really nice album. Uh, highly recommend it. Um, the cool thing, I mean, I have the CD also. Again, that's one that I just picked up initially when it first came out, and then ultimately I ended up getting the, the vinyl. Um, but she put out another version of it on CD, Tramp Demos. And, and this is just, if you can get this, this is not on available on vinyl, but if you can get this, it, it is just a wonderful companion to the full album. So definitely something to check out there. All right, up next, are we there? Cool release. Um, I want to say I pre-ordered this from her website. Again, another nice gatefold, these tip-on jackets. And I feel like, well, first off, I haven't listened to this in a while, so I actually still in the original paper sleeve, but let's see, I haven't replaced that one yet, so it's been a while since I've actually spun those. I should probably do that again soon. I think I bought this as a bundle, though. So it came with a uh, poster. Which is kind of cool. And a letter. Well, it says it was it said it was signed by Sharon. I can't tell if it's uh, it almost looks like a photocopy, but but yeah, that was part of the the packaging, the pre-release. It came with uh, a CD also. I think it came with a seven inch too, which I'll get to shortly. All right, so up next we have I don't want to let you go. Let I don't want to let you down, which is an EP. Um, now I also have the CD, and the CD is sealed, which tells me I must have bought this as a bundle. It's been a while. I was just on black wax, and again, never did replace it into a MoFi sleeve. Oh, and apparently I have a download code too. So. 
that tells me it's probably been a couple years since I've listened to this because I've generally been replacing them. So I'll have to go and dive into some of my um, Sharon Van Etten that's gone unlistened to for a few years. All right, up next we have Remind Me Tomorrow. Now this one was getting a little bit more, uh, I want to call it a little bit more pop, whereas her early ones were a little bit just darker, moodier. Um, this came on a blue, I think it was a, maybe a, not sure if it's indie exclusive or web store, probably a web store exclusive, but cool album. And again, just nice high end. She really, they really do a nice job. She does, she's just great, great job here. Um, and nice inner, just high end quality. All right, the last LP that I have here, um, this was released in the last year before her last album is a bit of a re-release. It's called Epic 10. Now I already showed you Epic. Uh, this is the 10th anniversary of Epic, which is the original album. So it's, it's the same track listing as the first, but it came with a second, uh, a second LP where, um, where artists cover the album. So you've got Big Red Machine, uh, which, of course, um, is uh, I believe that's Aaron Desner and um, and Justin Vernon from Bone Iver. They do a crime, Idols, Peace Sign, Lucinda Williams, Save Yourself. So you can and Courtney Barnett is on here. Fiona Apple's on here. So just a really nice uh, mix of artists, and then pretty cool. Um, again, just high quality gatefold, and then. We've got an orange record for LP2 and a blue one for LP1. So those are the uh, the LPs and um, got some uh, so seven inch singles as well. All right, so I also have a bunch of her seven inch singles. I, I think I have pretty much everything. There might be one I'm missing. Um, this is Serpents. Again, this is one of my favorite songs beside Mike Berder McDermott. I believe just black wax Leonard that's also off of the uh, tramp album beside uh, life of his own so again you've got Aaron uh, Aaron Desner involved in these and I believe, I believe these are largely black and then one more single from that album, uh, We Are Fine, with uh, Hotel, Hotel to Tango as the B. So those are all cool. All right, and then we've got this seven inch single, um, which I, I believe this is from the, with the, are we there? Yeah, this this I think came. This must have been with that package uh, where I I got the album. Are we there? The CD, the kind of letter, the poster, and then I think this seven inch came with it as well. And it's got a demo of uh, taking chances, and then taking chances on the A side. And then, uh, I don't want to let you down. This must have come with that other, the EP of I don't let, want to let you down, B side all over again. So long ago that I got these, I don't even remember. But yeah, that's another seven inch. Um, Sharon Van Etten and Shearwater Stop dragging my heart around. This was a record store day release. Apparently paid five dollars for it. At the exclusive company up in Green Bay, Wisconsin, most likely. It's kind of a nice uh, package, if I recall. Yeah, so it's got the seven inch of the B side. B side. Awake for the Minotaur. And then 
it's just kind of a funky packaging but yeah so yeah that was a record store date released uh, quite a few years ago all right a more recent seven inch um, she did a song uh, for the film feels good man let go on the a side some things last a long time on the b side this is a mondo exclusive i believe there were three variants of this total um got a split split seven inch i mean this is a real heavy weight too this is almost like a 180 gram seven inch which you don't see too often and then i think the other two variants one was just pink and then one was just green. Um, I was able to get hold of the split, which I think sold out first. And then lastly, uh, released, uh, I think it was Christmas 2021, Sharon Van Etten, Silent Night with a B-side of Blue Christmas. I was a little bummed out because there was an autograph version that was not very expensive at all. It might have even been the same price or just a few dollars more sold out really quick and I, I missed it, but it's on a clue, clear blue single, but that is that. So yeah, so there is my Sharon Van Etten collection for you. Um, hope, hope you give her a, a whirl if you're unfamiliar or, uh, you know, if you are familiar, uh, let me know if you've got a, a complete discography of uh, Sharon Van Etten's music. Let me know if I'm missing anything that I need to get out and get. Um, I, as I said, I, I'm pretty sure I've got most or all of her. Uh, well, I know I have all of her albums, other than you know those handful that may have been released uh, prior to her getting a uh, uh, record deal. And then um, you know, it's possible there's a couple seven inches floating around that I don't have yet. But uh, just let me know in the comments below and uh, we'll come back with another video soon. Take care.